Hello everyone. So I'm so excited. I need to sit down because my arm hurts and I need to explain what's going on. <sighs> Don't mind my unmade bed get rid of him so as i'm sure you can tell i'm super hyped to film this video marmalade are basically sending me a car to test drive for the week now if you guys are not familiar with me i my name's alicia hello my driving experience has been interesting that's the best way i can explain it i basically took six attempts to pass my driving test and the rest is history and now here we are i actually have no idea what the car is going to be it's arriving today and i'm really excited slash nervous i've never actually driven a new car before and you guys are going to be here for every step of the way so I hope you're buckled in because it's going to be interesting oh my gosh guys okay the car's here oh my god oh my gosh guys it's an a1 I am literally so happy. You guys don't understand, an Audi A1 is literally my dream car and it feels so weird to be sat in one, but oh my gosh, beautiful, it's beautiful. I am so excited for this week, guys. Honestly, I could not be happier. One thing I've noticed, it is automatic and I've never driven an automatic before, so that should be interesting but i am honestly in love with her i'm in love with her i'm in love with her so yeah guys first task is gonna be to fill her up with some petrol ready for our road trip so i'm gonna catch you guys later and we're gonna take her on her first drive <gasps> i'm nervous do you just want to say what you were doing a minute ago <laughs> it was off and i tried to drive it and you've never driven an automatic before d for drive here we go here we go. She is mad. Oh, she's moving. She's worked out. <laughs> right, now when I come here, mm -hmm. do I just take my foot off the accelerate? What right. each... <gasps> oh my God. I think what you call that is a bit no, of a sharp it. break. Thanks for giving me whiplash. Edge forward, edge forward. At least we know the brake works. You know what it. it is? Because my old car, the brake is obviously a lot less sensitive than this. Yeah, clearly, because this is all brand new, so everything's going to work perfect. Does that feel a bit better? That's time? better. Oh, she's beginning to use her brake properly. A few moments later. Hallelujah, we've reached the petrol station. Why don't you go to the top? Oh. Like normal people do. Is, is it going to roll anywhere? Have you... She said, is it going to roll when she put it on P? Nice. Like it. <laughs> work it out. <laughs> Work it out. I can't open it. Is there anything? Those, have a look at those three. No. None of them? You sure? You chat. Oh, I'm gonna what? just press it. <laughs> this is so much easier. In light of fuel. Yeah. See if you can stop it at 30, Luke. Hello, oh my god, sorry, I look so sweaty. So today's a day of the road trip. I'm really excited, but I was nervous because, as you guys know, as I said, I don't normally drive automatic. So I wanted to kind of get used to the car just so it goes smoothly. And guys, I know I was nervous at the start, but honestly, it's taken like two short drives to get totally used to it. So yeah, if you guys are new drivers or you're nervous about changing to automatic or whatever it is you're doing, don't be nervous. Honestly, it feels so much safer and it's so much it's just so much more enjoyable to drive so yeah i've done a little practice run i'm gonna catch up with you guys later when me and dad set off to milton keynes can't wait okay we're quite a bit in to the motorway journey it took me a while it's been a smooth though. ride i'm not gonna lie i'm not the most confident driver at all and it's actually easier to get a hold of driving a new car than it is an older car but this particular car would be ideal for Somebody yeah. of your experience, yeah. wouldn't it? Are to you start the driver? Off with, yeah, yeah. So thumbs up for like, driving like and visibility in. then. Yes. yes. Thumbs up. Can you see the night flick? No. We've arrived. Woohoo! Right, these are some nice tight roads. Basically we had a bit of a detour because it's free out. No, my phone took us the wrong way. It's a nice pretty sky tonight though. Oh, pretty. 
I think it's pretty. Look. Look at the moon. Oh, the moon. Oh, that. Right, so we did the drive to Milton Keynes and we managed to survive it. After several encounters. <laughs> and we made it to... Night flip. Milton Keynes way. We made it. That's right. the important thing. We made it. Car did really well. I mean, I didn't do that well, but the car did really well. We got a really good position as well. Yeah, we're like right front and centre. Second row. Also, comfort wise, for something like this, a sport. What is it? A sport. A sports bag. Sport bag. This is a sport bag, so yeah. it's so like really are, comfortable. Seats are sporty, a bit, a bit bucket, buckety, so. It feels like we this is better than a normal cinema and we're an actual nice car. To be fair, so. yeah, you don't have to mix with too many people. Yeah. Anyway, we'll catch up with you yeah, catch up. when the film's done. Two hours later. Alright, so where are we going, ladies? We... It's and why are we here? Half twelve. Yeah. Half twelve. And where should we be at half past twelve? We should have been at home by half twelve. How far away are we from home? An hour. Because the motorway got closed off. So we take, we've taken the, this really hard. No, the sat nav, it told us to close the sat nav down, but we it didn't. Said it, it said close sat nav. Yeah. And we didn't. We didn't. And it took and us all it took the way. In a circle that took half an hour. Yeah, all the way back around. But then we turned off the we've motorway. We've been to a place called Toaster. It's all made a lot better by driving in a good car. Yeah. Good night. And just let them, tell them, what would you do if you were broke down here? Cry. You, one eternity later. We're back everyone. Need to it's stretch. 15, that was a long time. But she, we made it. She only realised how close she was to her home about two minutes before otherwise she I've didn't been know driving she was for I don't want to know. Where Anyways, are we? Where are we? Where good are night. We? Good morning everyone. I wish I could actually say it was the morning, it's the afternoon and I've only just got ready for the day, but let's ignore that. So today um, we are going to head out to a drive through I'm going to grab a Starbucks because I just, I could do with one right now, I'm not going to lie. So yeah, the road trip was eventful. I'll catch you up with that on the way there. Um, I'm really hungry, so... One thing I have noticed after driving the car for a couple days is that any of the little things that I found a bit weird in terms of it being an automatic or whatever, I've totally got used to now. And also, I've honestly really enjoyed driving the car this week. And I'm not gonna lie, I was really nervous at the start because as I said, I'm not used to a driving an automatic and b driving a new car full stop so yeah i feel like i've done myself proud because i got used to it really quick and now it just feels like second nature but yeah catch up on what happened the other night so me and dad went to the driving cinema and to get there we took the m1 so we took the motorway and basically on the way back the film finished at like half 11 and we got to the M1 and of course it was closed. So we were kind of stuck and we basically had to take a very big detour. And guys, it was really late and the roads we had to go down. I am not gonna lie, it was scary. Like I am not used to driving on those types of roads. Oh, we're going through some trees, hold up. Gosh, these speed bumps are so much easier with an automatic. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, the country roads were kind of mad because I'm not used to driving on country roads. I live in a city and also I just avoid them most of the time because I mean, they're just a bit, they're a bit challenging, right? Um, but I must say for me being such a nervous driver, I genuinely, I think it must have been the car being so smooth and feeling so safe in this car but it wasn't i mean it was kind of scary but that's just me it wasn't as bad as it could have been and the car dealt so well with the different roads because obviously we'd gone from a motorway to city roads to the dirt track on the way up and then to country roads so yeah i would say it was a success and it's all thanks to this bad boy so okay oh my hot hole we have arrived at starbucks and i uh whoa another pothole welcome to coventry i'm so hungry i'm really excited to get this i don't even know what i'm gonna get oh my god i always freak out i don't even know what i want well i better decide because there's not even a queue starbucks hi please could i get the uh vegan you know the vegan breakfast muffin and can i also get a hibiscus iced tea 
that with the lemonade? Yes, please. And can I get some... Do you have the mango sauce? No. Do you have strawberry? Uh, we've got strawberry, yeah. Yeah, can I get strawberry sauce, please? That's everything, thank you. Okay, that'd be £8.69. No problem, okay, thank you. I got the goods. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry slash thirsty. Mm. Anyways, guys. <laughs> drive through complete success may i add only thing i will say is those guys as i said i'm pretty much a regular there they used to see in my normal car and they saw me pull up in this and they were kind of like like wow so yeah i mean it's a good reaction got a few stairs because they're not used to seeing me in a whip like this anyways yeah i'm gonna finish eating this tomorrow i would have been driving the car for nearly a week so i'm gonna give you guys like an in-depth breakdown of all my favorite parts everything i like the best how it drove how i got on with it in the week so we'll do like a catch up tomorrow and yeah i can't believe i'm gonna have to say bye to it soon so guys it is the final day that i have the car the car is being picked up tomorrow and i have really enjoyed this week like honestly it's been so fun and as i said before i was so nervous but honestly it took literally a day for me to get used to the car genuinely it's been so enjoyable for me i hope you guys have enjoyed the video so yeah as i said yesterday i'm gonna run you guys through after driving the car and getting used to it some of my favorite features and just some of the features that the car offers in fact let's head to the car oh, i'm gonna miss this car so yeah i just wanted to give you guys a rundown of some of the features and some of my favorite features too that the car offers now that i've driven it for a while so obviously looks wise the car on the outside and the inside are so they're just so pretty for me i don't like flashy cars and this one even though it's like a brand new car it's not so out there that you kind of stick out like a sore thumb kind of thing which for me anyway is the perfect kind of look but you can tell like it's it's a nice car interior wise guys these sport seats are genuinely so comfortable because obviously we went to the driving cinema and it genuinely felt like i was lying in bed watching a film because we both properly put the seats back and we were just chilling watching the film it was so nice and as well as that when i'm driving the car it's so comfortable to drive too so yeah the seats are incredible uh yeah interior wise as well the car this is like a perfect kind of size for me and i feel like again for newer or younger drivers obviously bigger cars can be a bit intimidating um but yeah this just seems like the perfect kind of size just because for example in comparison to my older car it was very small and sometimes it could feel a bit unstable on the road but this car is big enough to feel stable safe but not too big where it's intimidating to drive so the perfect size for me and as i said guys at the start if i can drive this car anyone can drive this car so tick for the interior tick for the exterior so a few cool features which i love so we've got the steering wheel where you've got loads of control so you can control your phone from here you can use voice assistance and then on the screen in front of you you have a speedometer and it might sound a bit simple but it's really just nice to have the speed right there in your face and like know how fast you're going and yeah as i said in comparison to older cars i've had it's kind of more of a dial but this is more of a digital system and it looks so much it just it just looks newer and it looks more high tech and it's just nicer to drive you see we have ac heat controls all the normal stuff and then we have a screen here too which i'm not personally used to i've been in cars with them my mom for example has a car with a screen but i've never actually driven one and honestly it's so much more useful there's actually driver friendly settings on this car so you can set for example lane sensors so if you're going over lanes in the motorway or on a dual carriageway it'll let you know and another cool thing about this car is you can also set it to let you know if you're going over a certain speed limit so if you're in like a built-up area for example and you don't want to go over 30 you can set it to a certain speed and it will let you know too and of course this car is also compatible with apple carplay which is super useful if you don't know what apple carplay is basically you can connect your iphone to the car you can get calls messages and a few other apps up on the screen so it's kind of like having your phone on the car and it's just way more easier and safer to use and then obviously the biggest thing guys is this car is automatic and as i said before i've never driven automatic and to me i saw it as a challenge but when i actually started driving it it genuinely just made my life so much easier with an automatic there's literally four modes park reverse neutral and drive and genuinely I cannot believe how easy this was to A, pick up and B, just drive your car in general. As I was saying on one of my other drives, it genuinely feels like the car 
is keeping you safe and is there to back you up and it's very as i said driver friendly so yeah it's really enjoyable to drive and it made my driving experience a lot better so i was never someone who considered myself an automatic driver it's just never something i considered but having driven an automatic i might go as far as saying i could be converted now that's a big statement to make but honestly it was that enjoyable to drive i might just be but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much to marmalade for giving me this opportunity and allowing me to test drive my dream car for the week and yeah happy driving guys i'm gonna go and i will hopefully see you soon